Hi, welcome to my playhouse and today I'm at work again and today I've just upgraded another HP 580 generation 8 with from 1 to 2 terabytes of RAM and I have another little server that needs a bit of upgrading man, and that is one of our SQL servers and those run on DL380 and right now they have 512 gigabytes of RAM and it's it's being upgraded to the maximum of amount of RAM with those I think it's the maximum amount of RAM for that server at the time being which is 768 gigabytes of RAM so let's go see that so the server is in here right here is the I just upgraded this one that's done it now has two terabytes of RAM right there all is good and now I'm gonna be upgrading this one um, this is a, also a VMware host but this one is being used for SQ, SQL so right now the server is on and I'm gonna be powering it off I've already we have a kind of a change procedure that is uh, used when servers like this has to go off so when server is needed to be powered off we have a procedure for doing that uh, so that everybody knows that the server is off so I need to make a change request and that change request goes over to the 24-7 surveillance and now that I'm here with the, where the surveillance also is housed, I go down to them and ask if everything is okay and if I can power down the server. And they say yes or no, and then I can power down the server and start the upgrade. And when I'm done, I have to tell them that I'm done and they will put it back into 24-7 surveillance. So if anything weird happens to that server, they will notify the right people. I will start the upgrade. So if I've done my calculations correct, the server should um, contain 16 blocks of 32 gigabytes memory blocks and these are the memory blocks in question. And by putting in four more, it should be at its maximum. The server is shut down now. It's um, lighting up yellow. That means that the server is off. Someone asked me in the last video what kind of memory or what brand this was. And these are Samsung blocks. And they are 32 gigabytes. And they are the 4RX4 PC3 and 14900L 1312CO Let's go see the server and get that out of the rack The server is off so I'm gonna go behind the rack and make sure that that it can be pulled out See if we can find it I think this is it. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go around the, the front and pull it out just a little bit. Okay, it's, it's out of the rack. It was very tight in there, so I had to use both hands. And I actually just happened to turn it on while trying to pull it out. Well, well that was our Power it up and shut it up again. So. Take this out. And there is the server. And luckily there is some available slots for memory. And looks like there is eight available slots, so that's very good. And it also looks like the memory is the same type, so that is all good. So let's get the memory. I'm just gonna grab myself a little bit here. 
and go get the memory. I have unwrapped it from the plastic boxes and I'm just going to take it. Like that 256 gigabytes of memory. Server is a, it's a little bit high, so I have a chair to stand on to get up, it, up into a good height. So, so, this is the HP 380 inside. A lot of cool stuff. Down here is a little USB connection. There is for a internal SATA drive, and that's it's rather nice that they have plug the power and the connection actually that's opposite that's the power and that's the connection right beside each other let's plug in some memory i don't think i can film that at the same time So normally I would push this server in before I would start doing anything but it's really in compilation with uh, some switches down here and it might be uh, a lot of trouble to get it in there right so before I push it all the way in I want to make sure that it's okay so connected a monitor to it and mouse and keyboard I'm probably not going to be using the mouse but but keyboard is nice to have it has its own diagnostics panel here and it's not complaining about any of the dims as of yet and here it has recognized the CPUs and memory has changed or something no not really that looks good I think this is going to be booting just fine. Um, haven't seen any errors so far. Yeah, this is... Now it's booting VMware, so I think this server is good. Use these smaller servers to have less CPUs because the SQL, Microsoft SQL, is licensed per core. So instead of having a lot of slow cores, we have less but very fast cores. If you saw the CPU in there, it's a CPU with uh, very few cores, but about 3.45 gigahertz of speed. So very fast CPUs and less of them. We use the 2U servers, HP's, DL380 and these are the generation 8 I think yeah generation 8 just like the DL580 that's also the generation 8 we have been looking at the generation 9 but we didn't really see the benefits of changing that out it's a very good idea to have a good standard so that you don't change hardware all the time the less hardware you need to know the better it is because then you, you know that hardware fairly better than if you have like two of that server and three of that server. It's a mess. Right now we have two standards. We have, we have the DL380 and the DL580. So that's the two standard servers right now. And when we can't get those anymore, we change the standard and buy something new. So um, let's go see how the server is doing. Okay, the server has booted. And as I said right before, this is there is two Intel Xeon 
E5 2667 version 2 and they're actually only 3.3 gigahertz I think this is a 6 core processor and it sees all the memory 768 gigabytes of memory so this is all good I can take the server and push it back into into its spot and be done for today well another job well done or oh, at least done didn't really run into any problem so I guess it's well done so I just have to tell everybody that it was a success and we can take that server out of maintenance and back into production so well cool thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and uh, join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post pictures of what I'm up to yeah, I'm not gonna post a picture about this because I haven't found any good angles <laughs> have a nice day bye bye